Hi everybody, it's Brenda here with Be Balanced Art. Today we're going to be doing something that I saw on Fiona Art. She is one of my favorite uh, artists on YouTube. And she does something called a Rekka Bloom. And today I'm going to attempt to do a Rekka Bloom. I already have a white base coat on my canvas because it is a previously used canvas. This white is Apple Barrel. I have Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. I have Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Pearl White. And I have Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Amethyst. And the way this is, and I, Fiona is the only one I've ever seen do this. I don't know if anybody else has done it, but uh, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to start with the metallic leaf green, and you start with a puddle in the center. Now I'm going to add the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Pearl White. Another puddle in the center. Now the Rust-Oleum Metallic Amethyst. Back to the white. Leaf green. White. Amethyst. White. Leaf green. White and amethyst. Now I have quite a few bubbles, so at this point I will go ahead and torch it. Remember, don't hold it too close, move it quickly, back and forth. Hold it one spot too long, you will burn your paint. That appears to have gotten them all. Now, you can take a straw or you can just use your mouth. I'm going to use a straw and blow it out. Let me turn it so I can blow out the other side.
Now I'm going to put my gloves on. I had them on earlier, but I got paint on them, putting on the base coat. So I had to take them off, clean them up. See, air bubbles are popping up again. Since these gloves are damp, it's hard to get them back on. right glove is no problem. The left glove is giving me a hard time. All right. Now, let me torch it again because I have bubbles from blowing. There is no silicone in this, but there are metallic paints. All three are metallic paints. Now that I've gotten my bloom, it's time to wreck it. That looks pretty wrecked. Once it's wrecked, you tilt it. What you're doing now is stretching out your wrecked rings. Trying to keep it in frame, but I've got to tip it, so. These are some really pretty colors. Speaking of pretty, it's a gorgeous day again. Sunny, pretty warm out, nice comfortable weather. This is good weather to fly a kite. Um, 
There's a nice breeze, but it's not terribly windy like it's been lately. So all in all, perfect weather to be stuck inside. <laughs> but you can go outside. You can spend some time out in your yard, at a park, go for a walk, take your dog for a walk, get some exercise. Just remember, do not congregate in large groups. You can say hi to your neighbors from across the fence. Touch up. Get all the places my fingers were. Now I'm going to go rinse my gloves off again and I'll be right back to torch it. Sorry about that, but I'm trying to wear my gloves several times because I don't want to have to switch out gloves because as soon as I do, um, I worry about running out of gloves. So I wash them off and reuse them repeatedly until I can't get them on anymore. Now I'm getting all the drips off from the pour so it doesn't keep sliding off following the drips. quick torch and I will bring the camera over for a close-up I didn't use any regular paints. These are all metallics, so I didn't get a lot of cell action. If I'd used some regular paints, too, I'd have had a lot of cells, which I really wasn't going for cells that much. But I do have a few cells. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully you learned something new. I know I did. I do every time I do a pour. And I want you to have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Please remember... Like, give me a thumbs up, comment, tell me what you thought of it, and share. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy watching these videos. Thank you again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.